Kharteng Premier David Makura is commemorating the Youth Day ceremony in Soweto. Let's go live there. You look around yourself and say, Eish, these young people are saying everything must change. And then you say, hey, including me, Mayor, they say every, when they knock at the door, they say everything must change. They want to come at the door. They want to come in there. So it's, it's absolutely important. So today we carry, we, 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 we move forward with an acknowledgement about the centrality of the role of young people. And we say that you have, we want to mobilize this energy. We want to mobilize this potential and translate it into a force of changing the current situation. The world, the world we live in faces major challenges. Climate change, the climate crisis, is one big issue that young people must grapple with. Young people also must grapple with the, the challenge of pandemics, not just COVID-19. HIV and AIDS is a big problem in Africa. So pandemics, climate change, but also technology. Young people love technology. But if you don't have access to technology, if you don't have data, and young people love data, if you don't have access to the infrastructure of this technology, the fourth industrial revolution becomes something that others talk about, but you don't have access to it. Technology empowers, but it can also disempower if you don't have access to it. So young people are also grappling with those challenges. Young people are affected by conflict and wars. We live in a world where, and in a continent where conflict and wars continue to disrupt development. In the different parts of our continent, we know the Russia-Ukraine war has a huge impact. The future is youth. Who are the people most affected by this conflict? Conflict disrupts dreams. Even the greatest dreams get disrupted by conflict. That's why, as a country, we don't want to, to join this side or that side in wars. We refuse, because development can only happen where there's peace. And we don't want to be forced into a war of which we really, really don't want to be part of. Because in every war, the people who suffer are ordinary people. They are ordinary people. The children of working class people are the ones who die in war. The infrastructure destroyed when if there's war, as you see, people who die in the war are ordinary people and they, all their investments and everything, the public infrastructure destroyed in every war. So South Africa refuses as a matter of principle to be drawn in that Ukraine, Russia, Ukraine war. We refuse, we want peace. Everywhere our attitude is that there must be a peaceful negotiation of every conflict. We must go into every situation to resolve matters that we want our youth to grow with that sense that our approach to development is premised by peace and our approach to every conflict must be premised by negotiations we say all these things because we want our youth to grow in a peaceful country in a country where development is possible so when we talk about development what are we talking about so let me say today on this Youth Day, the 46th anniversary, in which we celebrate also the 30th anniversary of Sarafina, is a special day for us. We are unveiling the Gauteng Integrated Youth Development Strategy 2030. The Gauteng Integrated Youth Development Strategy 2030. We have had youth development strategies so far. We have been reviewing them. We have been reviewing them. We have had youth development interventions. We have looked at how TEPO 1 million has done. There are many young people who say it helped us, but there are also many young people who say it's not reached us. We, have, we, have, we are rolling out the Presidential Youth Employment Initiative. 42,000 young people, young professionals who are helping us in those programs, but there's 2.2 million young people who are not in employment, not in education, and not in training in Gauteng. 2.2 million young people in Gauteng are not in employment, are not in education, and are not in training. That's our biggest challenge. But we, there's 3 million young people 
in Gauteng. So think of the 2.2 million I'm coming to. They are our, our principal focus. We have another 3 million young people who are in basic education. About 2.7 million of them are in basic education. And then there's other young people, another 300,000 or so, who are in further education and in higher education. So we have, it, we have 3 million young people who are engaged at the moment. 2.2 million are not engaged. 3 million are engaged, but they are in learning institutions. Basic education and further education and higher education. And then we've got another, another 2 million young people who are engaged. Those are in employment, others are in business, and they are doing things that are, they find very helpful. So where is the biggest problem? If we're talking about tackle, tackling the problem, firstly, we must consolidate educational outcomes. So these young people, the three million young people who are in, including you, we don't just want to send you to school because we have nothing, we have nothing for you to do. We are not sending you to school to get rid of you. We want you to come out of school with the best of education. So these young people who are in basic education, who are in further education and who are in universities, one of the things about the youth development strategy is that we must focus on ensuring that young people emerge from our education system with the, with the best of skills and core values that prepare them for the future. All right, let's leave Gauteng.